Hey GI Nation, this is Sean Ray. Most of you know me as a Hall of Fame bodybuilder, or two-time Olympia runner-up, or even the Arnold Classic champion. Others of you might recognize me for my body at work in the media, working for such publications like Flex Magazine, Muscular Development, Muscle and Fitness, Muscle Mag International, and a whole lot more. Well, now I'm ready to join the movement. The Generation Iron Movement. It's my pleasure to announce I've exclusively signed a deal with the Generation Iron Network as a senior analyst and a producer. You'll be able to watch my exclusive show competition interviews and analysis and original content and much more only at generationiron.com. So I decided to join the GI Nation Network um, on a couple of reasons. I saw a lot of things that were happening on social media that were really cool and kind of flashy and upbeat. Uh, but I also saw the quality of the work. When you look at Generation Iron and the quality of work that goes into the editing, goes into the production, uh, the timeliness of the news that's being broken, I thought, I wanna be a part of that. I wanted to be a part of something that was upwardly mobile. I mean, we're living in a world of the, the digital age. Everyone's looking at their cell phones, their iPads, their computers. And uh, I just think that right now, as far as the competition and the landscape of our industry, Generation Iron's just doing it on a whole different level. And I've been doing this for 30 something years. I was a writer for several publications, uh, a blogger, uh, and now I'm you know, doing all kinds of contest coverage on a global scale. And watching what Generation Iron has done in the short amount of time that they've done it, I thought, I've got to get on that bus. I've got to find a way to join the movement and to help bring the content uh, to the viewers. Because right now, it just seems like things are moving at warp speed. And Generation Iron is able to not only facilitate it, but they're also able to give you the quality. And I think most, most of us now, with our iPhone 7s and our 6 Pluses, we want quality over content. I mean, content is good, but it's gotta come from the right source, and it's gotta come at the right speed and with the right quality. Well, I've been doing media coverage for bodybuilding, uh, I'm going on 30 years, and as far as joining Generation Iron Network, trying to bring my wisdom, 30 plus years of traveling the world, interviewing athletes, being friends, being rivals, dealing with promoters and working with the sponsors, the people that build the infrastructure. You know, I worked with Joe and Ben Weider uh, exclusively for 17 years. Uh, I worked underneath Robert Kennedy over at Muscle Mag International. Uh, I got a lot of mentorship from Steve Blackman at Muscular Development. Uh, in 1988, I met Peter McGough, who ultimately became the Flex Magazine editor. I've worked with everyone, including photographers like John Balick and like uh, Bill Dobbins, Per Bernal. I've worked behind the scenes. I've done documentaries myself. I've got six of my own DVDs. I've seen what goes into the production of this bodybuilding industry. I've been on diets, I've been on the stage, I've promoted contests, I've given away sponsorships, and I've given away prize money. So I've done just about everything there is to do, and I thought if I bring this wealth of knowledge and information that I've not only learned, but I've mastered, uh, and add that to what Generation Iron is actually doing right now, uh, I just thought it would be an unstoppable team, and I'm looking forward to the future with Generation Iron. Well, I think what our sport <laughs> has been lacking for quite some time is uh, transparency. We are living in an age where people are desperate for likes. People are, are desperate for shares. Everybody wants to be politically correct. And in bodybuilding, much like a beauty contest, sometimes it's not all about the pat on the back. Sometimes you have to be real and you have to be honest because let's be real, it's not that hard to get a pro card with these this many divisions. I mean, they're being tossed around very easily because the sheer volume of competitors. You don't have to win to get a pro card. You can be second to get a pro card. But then when you get there and we sit down and we pay these high dollar prices to watch and we see the finished product and we see that someone's not ready or someone doesn't belong, uh, it's only right for me as a media now analyst to call it a spade a spade. You gotta call it like it is. If you don't belong on that stage, someone's gotta say that so that you get a reality check. I'm a fan of the sport, but I'm also a critic. And I think constructive criticism to certain individuals is taken constructively and they can go back to the gym and fix the mistakes. Others have very thin skin and criticism can make them go right over the edge because they have their fans telling them how great they are and they have their family telling them how great they are and how accomplished they are because they have this recognition of a, of a pro card. 
I'm the guy that's gonna keep it 100. I'm not out to make enemies, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna blow smoke up your butt and tell you you look great when in fact you should be sitting next to me watching the show to learn. The best way to become a better athlete is to learn from the people that have been there. My resume speaks for itself, so I, I'm entitled to give my opinion on what I'm looking like, because I stood amongst Hall of Fame bodybuilders. But at the same time, I'm a fan, <laughs> and as a fan, if you get up there for me to you know, pay my heart and money and you don't belong on that stage, I'm gonna tell you, you're better off going back to the drawing board. And I think keeping it 100 and being real is probably the best way to sleep good at night, and that's what I do.